There are currently about 7.9 billion people living on Earth right now. About 785 million of them don't have clean water, and 40.5% of the world population does not have access to the internet. But what if we gave everyone a computer and give them the ability to do anything on it? And what if everyone just decided to play Hypixel Skyblock? What if all 7.9 billion people starts playing Hypixel Skyblock? all of a sudden. Well, firstly, we would need to have servers for all 7.9 billion people. From Hypixel's past, about 100,000 players can easily start lagging the server. So even if we can fit all 7.9 billion people, it would cause serious lag to the server. But what if there is no lag? Let's make this interesting by ignoring the fact that Hypixel will lag, and assume the server will stay fine entirely. The first thing that's gonna happen is the total world power consumption from computers would jump up to 99.9% with the last 0.1% from your fan, light, or air conditioners. The second thing that's gonna happen is 7.9 billion islands will be created and generating 7.9 billion cobblestone in the first 14 seconds. If everyone decides to sell the cobblestone, 7.9 billion coins will be generated into the economy. If we assume everyone does the same thing, each market on the bazaar will inflate and cause a crash in every single one. So if everyone decides they want to farm one pumpkin and sell them to the bazaar at the same time, the price of pumpkins will be at zero. And if they sell them to the NPC, 31.6 billion coins will be generated. The maximum number of blocks you can break in a second in Minecraft is 20, meaning 632 billion coins will be generated, and in an hour, that number will be at 2 quadrillion, 275 trillion, and 200 billion coins. Let's look away from the coins for a second. If everyone decides to farm pumpkin, over 2 quadrillion, 558 trillion, and 600 billion XP is gained in an hour, that amount of XP can level up over 200,000 farming pets, and that is just within the first hour. What happens if everyone levels up to farming 60? Well, firstly, 882 quadrillion, 212 trillion, 157 billion, and 500 million farming XP will be gained, which will be able to level up over 69 billion and 740 million pets. Secondly, now that everyone's farming 60, we will assume that they have the max farming fortune, which is achievable through using the Harvesting Enchant, Tier 3 Hole, Plus V Forge, Farm Hamper, Level 100 Elephant, Turbo 5 Enchant, Cultivating 10, both Logarithmic, Counter, and Collection Analysis. And lastly, 35 holes with 5 Farming for Dummies, work on it. With this amount of Farming Fortune, you're able to get 10 times to drop 100% of the time and a 49% chance to get 11. So, Meaning, if you break a nether ward, you will get 20.98 to 41.96 nether ward. But to make this easier for all of us, I'm going to assume you are getting 31.47 on average. Going back to what I said earlier, you are able to break 20 blocks in a second, so you'll be getting 629.4 nether ward in one second. And in an hour, you will harvest 2,265,000. 840 of them. Now, if all 7.9 billion people were to do the same, we would be getting 17 quadrillion, 900 trillion, and 136 billion nether ward, which would be the equivalent of 53 quadrillion, 700 trillion, and 408 billion coins. That amount of coins can single handedly buy out the entire auction house right now, and even if you did, you still have over 90% of your coins left over. And with that amount of money, your Emerald Blade will have a base damage of 38,186 without any enchants or any reforges. We have talked about farming a lot, but what about building them? The default island width for every player is 160 and 160. To build an infinite pumpkin farm, you will need to have 4 layers of it, costing you over 100,000 dirt, which is 100,000 coins. Doesn't sound a lot, does it? Well, assuming everyone built the same exact four layers, it will cost roughly around 790 trillion, 979 billion, and 600 million coins. 
although that number is quite big, it is only a small percent of what everyone's bank account is. When you upscale something to several billions, the number will obviously be big. But what if we don't? Let's assume all 7.9 billion of those people are just your old accounts. You will be the richest man in Skyblock in just 2 minutes, passing Swavy, and in another 2 more minutes, you will be richer than all 3 of the highest net worth player combined. Sounds great, right? Being richer than everyone's net worth combined in the game in just 20 minutes sounds like the dream of every Hypixel Skyblock player. No. It's not that easy. If you want to be the richest player, you will actually need to transfer the money to yourself. But the problem is, you see, you have 7.9 billion accounts. When each trade takes about 5 seconds, you will need 39.5 billion seconds to finish trading with each individual account. That is 10.972222 million hours, or 457,175 days. If you were to start transferring from each account on the year zero, you'd be able to witness the birth of Jesus, the wall of the hydrants being built, the fall of the Western Roman Empire, and the invention of the magnetic compass. All of the stuff that happened from the year 0 to the year 1200. This is also assuming you don't sleep. Humans sleep for about an average of 8 hours a day. So assuming if you did sleep, it would take you over 600,000 days to complete transferring. You'll be able to watch Newton discover gravity, from the birth of Jesus Christ to the discovery of gravity is how long you will be transferring your Skyblock coins for. But why? Is it the desire to fulfill your dream or is it to gain superiority over everyone? Experts said that it may be the result of multiple failures. A person tries to complete a specific goal or achieve a desired outcome, but they don't succeed. To overcome this, most players will either pretend they are better than what they actually are, or gain an unfair advantage through several ways. When you have finally finished transferring all your Skyblock coins, what is there to do? Boast about how good and how rich you are, or make fun of other people with them. Or maybe it's even the root to your arguments. When you have bought everything you like and everything you desire, you will no longer feel the need to do what you liked before. The main reason why you played is to get better. The process is what was fun, not the rewards. The rewards were just a prize for reaching it, and when you have finally figured it out, you probably have already upset and ruined your relationship with all 7.9 billion people. People There are currently 7.9 billion people alive on Earth. To max out all the upgrades in the store, it will require you to spend 5,150 Skyblock gems, which will cost you $40. If each of the individual people were to buy the exact amount of gems, Simon would make $316 billion. With that amount of money, Simon would be the richest person on earth, nearly two times more than Jeff Bezos. What can you do with $316 billion? Well, you can go to space. You can buy a luxurious supercar, you can buy islands, and you don't even have to work a single day in your life for the next 4,627,654 years. According to Chango.ca, the average Canadian spends $86,000 a year on household expenses. Your children's 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 children, and so on, would never have to work a single day in their life. But with so much money, we will slowly question, what is money? Money allows us to buy our day-to-day -day needs or wants, ranging from the new generation console to the basic human needs, food and water. Food. If money allows us to buy and eat food, then can food allow us to buy and eat money? Realistically, we are just trading a piece of paper that has some art on it for things that we need to survive with. Shelter, food, water, and maybe even weapons. Why is that we believe this paper has more value than this? If we were to be stranded in the middle of the ocean with $316 billion in cash, we wouldn't be able to survive for the next week. But when we have just $100 of food and water, we are able to survive longer and maybe even able to live long enough to be rescued. 
This is what we call representative money. Representative money is any medium of exchange, often printed on the paper, that represents something of value, but has little to no value of its own. It's what we believe to have value in them, and the more people that believes in it, the more valuable it is, and will continue to exist. Just like in high pixel cell block, we believe some items have more value than the others, even though it gives less stats. For example, we believe the Art of War book is more valuable than all 10 hot potato books combined, even though it gives less stats. Another example is branded clothing. A t-shirt that is made from the same material can be less value compared to a branded one. It's how most of us, out of the 7.9 billion people, function.